in my last video my calculator got stuck for some reason so let me get my calculator out so menu <clears throat> run okay so where were we so I told you that we can do this uh, on a calculator you can change from the polar form this is a polar form to the rectangular form uh, by using the calculator the calculator will give us this answer but even though the calculator does give you the answer you should know how the calculator works okay that's what always my focus is so you go to option then you press f6 then you press f5 that's angle and then again f6 to remember lots of steps so you want to change this in a rectangular form that's the question isn't it so the question is change it in a rectangular form so again you have to remember you have to go rectangular form and they're asking you what's the polar form so you type in two comma okay now i forgot i had to change this into degrees first okay because we're working in degrees so go to degrees first exit and so two comma six um, close the bracket so this is your this is your x or this is a real part that's one and this is 1.73 okay and one 1.732 or whatever this number is nothing but root 3 i'll show you so shift okay uh, exit okay shift root 3 is 1.73 and i told you cos 60 i know is half which is 0.5 and sine 60 is root 3 over 2. this is a good to remember for calculus students cos sine 60 is root 3 over 2 how did i get this number so if you go shift root 3 divided by 2 will give you the same number okay now moving on to the next question uh you want to multiply p and q and to write in this form a plus b root 3 so p is 3 plus so this is it'll do a little of algebra so this is 3 plus 2 root 3 times so minus 3 root 3. So we're going to simply expand uh, as we expand brackets. So this is 3. So I'll do more steps. So 3 times 2 minus 3 root 3 plus 2 root 3 times 2 minus 3 root 3. So what I've done is I've distributed 3. I've expanded 3 with this whole bracket. Then plus 2 root 3 with this whole bracket. So now opening the bracket, so 3 times 2 is 6 minus, so 3 times 3 is 9 root 3. Plus, this is 4 root 3 uh, minus, uh, this is 2 times 3 is 6. Uh, 6 root, uh, okay, so what happens is, hmm. I didn't want to do that. So this is, uh, this is a bit difficult to explain. So let me go over this again. So this is, this is simple. So two, two root three times two is four root three. Now root three times root three is three. Okay, that means this is, okay. Root three times root three is root nine and root nine is three. So you're multiplying two times three is six and then uh, root 3 times root 3 is 3, so this is 18. I hope it's clear. So 2 times 3 is 6, and root 3 times root 3 is 3, so 6 times 3 is 18. So this is nothing but, so 6 minus 18 minus 9 root 3 plus 4 root 3. So this is nothing but minus 12 minus 5 root 3 this is your final answer okay in this is called a third form and your a is uh, a is of course minus 12 and b is minus 5 okay uh, i want you to do this question i will okay i got i think i we can do one question these questions have been taken from 2003 exam paper of uh, calculus uh, uh, the standard of complex numbers. 
find all the solution including complex numbers for each of these following equations. So this is the first equation. So here uh, to find the solution, of course the calculator again will do this, but I don't want to use the calculator. So here, uh, this is a cubic equation and you need to find the roots. So it has got one complex root. So here, one technique is, uh, if you, you can do by trial and error, so you can say you can start with x is x plus 1 a factor. Okay, so this is a rule again. If x minus 1 is a factor, okay, then the sum of the coefficients, the coefficients are 1, minus 2, minus 5, and 6 will become 0. So then, um, then the sum of coefficients should be 0. So 1 minus 2 minus 5 plus 6. Is it a 0? So yes, it is a 0. So sum of coefficient is 0. So x minus 1 is a factor. Now, now to find the other roots, we have to do a synthetic division. I'll explain that. So what you do is you draw a, this is a division, synthetic division. You simply write 1 minus 2 minus 5 and 6 like this. And x minus 1 is a factor, so you have to write 1 here. Okay. So if it was x plus 1 a factor, then you would have written minus 1. Okay. Or in other words, you have to set this equal to 0, so x is equal to 1. So start with a 0. Uh, this does work, okay? There's no explanation. So what you do is you add this to, so 1 plus 0 is 1. Then you multiply this to, so 1 times 1 is 1. Then you add this to, minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1. Multiply this to, which is minus 1. Then minus 5 minus 1 is minus 6. Okay, now this is a neat way of writing or dividing. I'll explain what it means, what are these numbers meaning. So here, you always start with 1, and if you end with 0, this means that x minus 1 is a factor. So what does this mean? So this can be written, this is nothing but x minus 1 times x squared minus x minus 6. Now how did I write this? This is by looking at these coefficients. So the coefficient, let me use a different color. The coefficient of x squared is 1. The coefficient of x is negative 1. And this is minus 6. That's how I wrote this. Now, how did I write x squared? Because it's x cubed and you got x minus 1 as a bracket. So you have to write x squared. Or x squared x without x. Okay. And now, finally, you have to factorize this. So this is x minus 1, which has two factors of negative 6. Okay, so you can't factorize this because you can't find, yes, you can find the two factors of negative 6, which gives the negative 1, which is x minus 3 times x plus 2. We'll check this on the calculator, though. So the final answer is x is equal to 1, 3, and negative 2. You have to set each of them equal to 0. You should be knowing this as calculus students. So how will we check the answer? So get your calculator out. Go to equations. Okay. Uh, and have we done something wrong? No, we haven't. So let's try. So you go to polynomial. So this is a third degree polynomial and type in 1 under a, because that's the coefficient of x cubed, then minus 2 under b, minus 5 under c, and 6 under d. And then you go to solve. Here are the three answers, okay? So let, let me show you that. So you got 3, 1, and minus 2. So we are quite right. And you should be happy about yourself so you can give yourself, say, three stars. See you in the next